Welcome everyone, the first way to lock apps on the Z Fold 5 is I want you to open up the settings and inside of the settings I want you to locate where you see the security and privacy then you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the secure folder and let's tap on the secure folder and uh, we're just going to follow the on-screen instructions to create the secure folder right here. Once the secure folder is created, we're going to uh, add a lock to the folder. And uh, once you're done, you should be brought to the folder here. Uh, if you already created the folder in the past, go to your home screen, swipe up, and just locate that secure folder and we're going to open it up so from here i want you to tap on the triple dots and then you're going to tap into the settings you're going to see auto lock secure folder and i want you to change this one to each time i leave an app this just makes sure that the lock will work now we'll go back and you're just going to add the apps you want to lock so I'll just add them here. And the reason why I'm showing two methods is because this is great if you want to lock applications where you can sign out of the account. So how the secure folder works is it will create a duplicate version of the app where nothing is signed in and you have the lock. So if we take a look here and I go into the secure folder so we have this one, Binance, and so this is a secure folder version of Binance. You can put all your personal information here, for example. But when you leave the secure folder, there'll be a regular version of uh, Binance on your device, which someone can still open up without the lock, but you would sign out of your account here, and then no one can gain access to your account. The problem with this is the Google's and you know Google services, Google accounts, you can't sign out of. And so this is why you may want to use the second method. So the second method is you're gonna open up the Play Store. And let me connect to Wi-Fi. And in the Play Store, you're gonna search for app lock fingerprint. And you should see this one here, app lock hyphen fingerprint tap on this one and install this app onto your phone and once the app is installed let's open it up so from here it's going to ask you to create a pin so we'll just create the pin and confirm it says fingerprint so let's tap on yes to lock apps with fingerprint from here we're going to tap on the plus and you're just going to turn on the apps you want to lock like this and then tap on the plus to add those apps now we need to turn on the permissions so we're going to tap on ok and you just want to look for the app lock turn it on ok appear on top let's turn that one on and ok uh, we don't need to allow this access, so I'm going to tap on don't allow. And so, if I open up an app like this, it's going to lock me out. Need to enter the fingerprint, boom, and we are in. The downside of this is if someone knows exactly what you're doing, they could uninstall the app to remove the lock, but you could also lock Google Play then there's always a way if there's a will but most people probably would give up at that point because they'd have to go to the settings and you could lock the settings by the way so uh, that is the second method but it is a third party app that's why i showed the secure folder first let me know if you're using method one method two or both methods thanks for watching bye bye